my name is Gemma and I work as the Relationship Manager at Vitra London. Vitra was founded by the Asaji Baju Group in Turkey, Istanbul. Vitra draws on a century of experience in design, innovation and eco-conservation and has a long history of working with internationally renowned designers such as Eric Levy, Terry Pakora and Ross Lovegrove. We have a really great team, a bathroom specification team that can answer your technical questions but also inspire you to choose that product for both the commercial space and the residential space. This is our flagship showroom in London's Clerkenwell, designed by T.P. Bennett. It's a 5,600 square foot showroom occupying two floors. Vitra London is designed to be a creative hub, a social space for architects, designers and thinkers with dedicated areas for product specification, events and workshops. We are so thrilled to house Unit 8's installation within Vitra London. My name is uh, Armel Gutierrez Rivas and I'm part of Unit 8 Studio. Uh, together with Austin Joseph and Sonan Daya, we are very grateful to be part of Showroom Showcase competition. And we are based in East London. Uh, we have in common that we all either study or are teaching in the University of East London and we got to know each other a couple of years ago. So the installation that we have developed is made out of a number of flowers <laughs> which are hanging from, from the ceiling and each one of these flowers is made out of a combination of different pleats and we got inspired by uh, the work of Paul Jackson and uh, the book Complete Pleats where he explains that the pleats have been for millennia unregarded and uh, have been like more like a functional and a decorative item and how in the recent years, due to new materials and new origami techniques and folding techniques, they are coming back into contemporary design languages. And we wanted to kind of bring this idea of pleating paper in a very simple way into a larger scale. So the installation is called the Pleat Garden, and the idea is that this, it resembles as much as possible a garden, and that there is that aspect of nature going back to the, to the workshop and all of them are done and hung in a way that they react to the environment. So when there is a slightly a current of wind inside the showroom or when there is a change of uh, light intensity because the sun is hitting them directly, you can see how the installation reacts to that and how the color of the pleats is different and how they slightly hover uh, using the wind as a, as a kind of movement pattern. So the, the, the main idea for us was to bring that kind of nature into the workshop and to define a bit the, 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 the boundary between in and out, to invite people, even without entering the showroom, to invite them to look uh, beyond the window and to inspire them to, to look into the wider space of the showroom. So yeah, for, for the installation process and for the manufacturing process, we did a combination of traditional pleating and origami techniques with the digital uh, fabrication. So we used as a template uh, we, with the laser, we mark all the different pleats and all the different directions. And that template uh, was what we used to follow the lines of pleating. So the, the, the main work was to kind of understand what is the best pattern and what is the best kind of way of designing and drawing these lines. And what we found very interesting is by changing the depth and the length of the lines that we were doing, the resulting pleat would be totally different. And each one has a distinct color as well. And then once this was tested and we were happy with the colors and with the process of manufacturing, then it came the, the most uh, difficult part of the process, or not difficult, but the most time consuming, which was actually pleating by hand, uh, one by one, all these, all these elements. When we started working with Vitra, we, we didn't uh, know the, the brand and we didn't know the work that, we, that they were doing, but it was really inspiring for us to visit the showroom, to speak with the team. They have been extremely helpful and, and professional and inspiring to, to our work. And we came with a very open mind. We wanted to develop it together with them and we wanted to feel as involved as possible. So we, from the from day one, we kind of share all the testing and mock-ups and prototypes with them and we selected the colors together. We are thrilled to home Unit 8's installation within our showroom. So if you like what you see, come on in and take a look from the inside. <laughs>